Temple OS and Terry Davis. So there's a lot we can learn from both of those things, right? There's the operating system and then the creator. And there's lots of lessons we can learn from the operating system itself, Temple OS, and Terry Davis himself from his personality and what led to his madness. So let's start with Temple OS. So what Temple OS basically was, was a lighter weight, simpler, and modern Commodore 64. A Commodore 64 was just a, a really popular computer in the 1980s and Terry Davis wanted to modernize that. He criticized Linux for being basically overly complex and having too many file permissions. There's a lot of criticisms that he has of other operating systems, and he wanted to simplify everything and keep everything in under 100,000 lines of code. And he succeeded in that, and it was it's a really incredible feat, actually. He created his own file system, he created his own sound and graphics libraries, and even his own kernel. Right? If you compare it to Linux, Linux is really just the kernel. The whole operating system is GNU, it's, you know, the GNU core utilities, this and that, and it's kind of a mixture of all kinds of different software. Well, Temple OS is its own operating system, all built by one person. Its language it's written in is x84 assembly and Holy C. Holy C is pretty much a variant of C and C++, so really kind of an in-between language, and it's also the shell language, it doubles as the shell language, like in Linux you have shell or you have bash in the shell and you can execute commands quickly. So Terry Davis criticized Linus Torvalds and his Linux system basically because of the complexity, the file systems, and he wanted to simplify everything. And it was all written not only in under 100,000 lines of code, but I believe under like a megabyte or two when you download it. And that's really impressive overall. So I think the lesson from Temple OS is ultimately just simplicity, right? And as far as the lessons from him as a person, Terry Davis was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He was mentally ill and everything. What I think led to his madness basically was his isolation. His disease and like mental health was worsened by his isolation. And he was pretty much obsessed with Temple OS. And there's actually a quote from the Bible, right, a verse from Psalm 18.1, and it goes something like this. It's, whoever isolates himself seeks his own desire, and he breaks out against all sound judgment. And I think that single verse sums up Terry Davis, right? We're all programmers and developers, and we all have our own projects that we're very passionate about. But when we obsess about them, and it's the only thing that occupies our mind, we're pretty much gonna go insane all right if you made it this far thanks for watching and just to quickly summarize again um, I just wanted to ramble a bit about Temple OS and truly really just talk about how comparable it was to Linux and what we can learn from the operating system itself but also Terry Davis as a person no matter how obsessed with whatever project we're working on we just need to learn to take a break and get away from the computer if you're interested in weird stuff like Temple OS, then chances are you might also be interested in history of operating systems, programming, and anything software related. So go and check out my website at promptier.io. I will link that in the description, and thanks for watching.